good morning. So, I wanted to share with you today that there are amazing, gorgeous, helpful, super supportive tools that we can put in our metaphorical toolbox for those times when when we're struggling with peace of mind or when we just need some support with our mental health or we just want to feel better. There's like all of these tools and many of them you already know that we can utilize so that we can access for when we, those times when we want to feel better or we just want to enjoy our life more. So this is an exercise that I do with my coaching clients and for this morning, for the purposes of this video, I actually wrote some down, some ideas for us and when I work with clients we tend to come up with these together but since you're not here with me right now, I did all the work for us. So you're welcome for that. Uh, so these are some tools that you can put in your toolbox and when you're needing something, some support, just pull one out. So the invitation now is to close your eyes, maybe put your hand on your heart, and just notice as I go through these tools, are there two or three that you think, oh, yeah, I'd really love to utilize that one, or oh, I want to be reminded of that one, or oh, I want to start practicing with that one. Just notice, you don't have to do anything more today. Just notice which of these tools you seem to resonate with. In no particular order. There's laughter, spending time in nature, decluttering your space, joining a support group, being in a conscious community, journaling, working with a coach, smiling meditation, working with a hypnotherapist, singing, moving your body, having a gratitude practice, utilizing Reiki or energy work, doing your own hands-on healing, resting, breath work, affirmations, prayer, a burning bowl ritual, an inspired morning practice. So those are a few tools and there are a plethora more. But these are some tools that you can start using right away if you want to. Go ahead and open your eyes. So I am a big fan of utilizing, accessing, and really diving deeply into our resources, right? Because sometimes we have this story in our head that we are here and we need to do all of this by ourselves all the time. And while that may work really well for you, I also want you to know that these and many, many more are available to you as well. So the question becomes, are you accessing your tools? Do you know what they are? Can you write them down? Can you, can you be mindful of them? So that during those times where you just want to feel better or at times are hard or you're not having the peace of mind that you would love to have or you're not living the life that you want to live, access your tools, dip into your toolbox. While I'm remembering, I want to let you know that my husband Eli and I are having our second annual community appreciation party that is happening on Thursday night, May 30th. Drop me a line if you want an invitation. It's happening online. There's going to be some singing. There's going to be some dancing. There's going to be some storytelling. There might even be somebody teaching us some accents in there for some fun. And, um, People loved this party last year and we're doing it again and you're welcome to come. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Utilize your tools know which ones work best for you. And especially you might even want to dip into a tool that you know nothing about. You're like, oh, smiling meditation. I don't know what that is. I, 
I want to look into that and maybe start doing that. That sounds fun. Or whatever it is. Find the one that works for you or the two or three that might work for you and play around with them. You do not have to do everything on your own. And, my dear, you do not have to suffer. Okay. My name is Joseph Bennett. I am a happiness coach and a podcaster and an author and the founder of San Miguel Retreats. I am here every Wednesday with videos with you and for you to help inspire and lift you up. You can always find me at josephbennett.org.